fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. Before this exciting adventure, a word from our sponsor. General Mills, makers of Cheerios, the ready-to-eat oat cereal that gives you go power, and Wheaties, the breakfast of champions, present by special recording, The Lone Ranger. All over the country, in every direction, how you, how you doing is the question, and here's one of the habits that these people have to face. Hello, this is the Lone Ranger speaking. You know Americans have the reputation of being always on the go. You can see how we got that reputation when you think back on the exploits of men like Daniel Boone, Lewis and Clark, Davy Crockett, and many others. They had to cross the rivers, climb the mountains, break the trails from the Atlantic to the Pacific. Today, Americans are still full of energy. And the important thing to remember is that we are a wheat-eating nation. We eat more energy-giving wheat by far than any other grain. It's one big reason why we are still on the move exploring new frontiers. Keep on eating your wheat, and you'll be do 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 His faithful Indian companion Toto, the daring and resourceful mask rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Let's go, big fellow. Are you still there? The Lone Ranger and Toto were riding through the hills west of the town of Nonsuch at a leisurely pace when suddenly... Gunblade. A couple of hands. We'll see what it is. Let's go, Toto. Montilla! As the trail sloped down toward a valley, the Lone Ranger and Toto saw a strange scene. A bareheaded young rider raced across the valley, a short distance ahead of five hard riding pursuers, who opened fire again. One of their bullets hit the mark. Young fellow wounded. We'll try to save him, Toto. Montilla! Count! The wounded man approached them, clinging desperately to the neck of his tiring horse. The Lone Ranger drew his coat and shouted, You help him, Toto, I'll cover you. He's heavy. Come on, Silver. Easy, Toto. As Toto slowed Scout to intercept the wounded rider, the Lone Ranger raced past him, then drawing Silver to a halt behind a sheltering rock. Oh, oh easy, tell it up. He swung from the saddle and opened fire. <laughs> Silver bullets whizzed by the pursuing horsemen, forcing them to draw rein. As their horses slid to a fast halt, the Lone Ranger fired again. Smashing the guns of the two lead riders. A bullet grazed the hand of the third man as the fourth threw up his hands to surrender. The fifth rider moved from behind the others to get a clear shot at the masked man. An instant before he pulled the trigger, the Lone Ranger's colt roared again. The squint-eyed townsman howled with pain and anger as his weapon spun from his hand, smashed beyond repair. Do any of you want more gunplay? Well, that's better. When we left town, the trail was crook. We didn't figure he'd have pals waiting here to cover him. If he's a crook, he'll be turned over to the law. Last chance of that. Come on, boys. We might as well head back to town. Yeah, 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 yeah. The sheriff you ever get tricked and untouched and hears about this, he'll start a county for you and your crooked pal. I know the sheriff. Believe that, and you'll tell us another one. Come on, fellas. Yeah, 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 yeah. Still holding his coat, the Lone Ranger watched the retreating townsmen until they were out of range. Then, leaving their guns where they had dropped them, he holstered his own weapons. Easy, steady, big fella. I'll join Toto. Come on, Silver! (laughs) 
The Indian was waiting on the trail a short distance away with the wounded man, who identified himself as Bill Linden. Your wound needs attention, Bill. I just a scratch, mister. Would you be able to stay in the saddle long enough for us to find a fairly well-concealed campsite and hide our tracks? Yeah, I'll be all right. There are plenty of place to camp in Hills, Kimasabi. We'll head for one at once, then. A few minutes later, the three riders drew rein in a clearing surrounded by dense underbrush and huge trees. Oh, 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 Tonto helped Bill Linden from the saddle, while the masked man took medical supplies from his saddlebag. While I take care of the wound, suppose you tell us why those riders were after you. Well, it, it all started when the express office in town was robbed two nights ago. Yeah? The fellow with a bandana over his face took the guard by surprise. He slugged him and got away with $15,000 while his partner waited outside watching for trouble. Well, how do you fit into the robbery? My, my mother and I live in town. Yeah? We have a barn behind the house where I do leather work, repair gear, kind of a sales shop. I understand. Someone must have gotten in there last night. They planted some of the stolen money. How was it recognized? The day after the robbery, the sheriff said the serial numbers were on record. Oh. Uh-huh. That make it easy to identify money. Yeah. Yes, Sam Otter, the deputy sheriff, got a tip saying I had the money hidden in the barn. He came late this morning to search the place. Found the cash and a gold watch that had been stolen from the guard. Well, what about Sheriff Yerba? He left town yesterday morning. Won't be back for two days. Meantime, everyone in town figures I committed the robbery. You'd better stay away from town until Sheriff Yerba returns. Yeah. I've never been in so much trouble in all my life. If the sheriff won't give me a fair chance to clear myself, I, I'm likely to go to prison. Steady. I don't mind admitting I'm scared. And, uh, I'm thinking of Mom. She'd be mighty worried about me. Especially when those fellas get back to town and spread the word that a masked man and a redskin rescued me. After it's dark, we may be able to get a message to her, Bill. Toto will ride to no, town and... Uh... No, I... I wouldn't want him to risk it, mister. Oh? See, my dad was killed by Indians 20 years ago. Mom would be likely to start screaming for help at the sight of a redskin. Do you have any friends in town who'd deliver a message to her? Yeah. Yeah, I have a friend in town named Tug Walker. If you take a message to Tug, he'll tell Mom I'm all right. And you tell me where to find him, Bill. After dark tonight, me ride to town and look for him. The sun went down an hour later while the masked man prepared a light meal. By the time they finished eating, darkness was falling. Me start for town now, Kimasabi? You might as well, Tonto. Tug Walker lives in the shack at the edge of town, Tonto. Place needs a coat of paint. A couple of windows are broken. Right next to the general store. Uh, me find it, Bill. Oh, here. Hey, give this note for Mom. When she reads it, she'll know I'm with friend. You might also give Walker this hand, Bill, Tonto. Ask him to give it to the deputy sheriff. That looks like a reward notice. It describes a gunslinger named Rock Rowley. What? Rock Rowley? Yes. Do you know him? Oh, yeah. He came to town three or four weeks ago. Oh? I fixed a story for him the other day. I thought we might find him around here. What's he wanted for? Murder and robbery. I didn't know he was a crook. The sheriff doesn't know it yet either. Not and I came here to turn the handbill over to him. Do you know Sheriff Yerba? Oh, yes. We met him several years ago while he was working as a railroad detective for Union Pacific. Oh, gone. I, I don't savvy you two. No? It's hard to believe a masked man would be on the side of the law. Well, not that I doubt you would. I know you said you weren't on the dodge, but... But you're not altogether convinced, uh, uh, are Bill? Well, I... <laughs> you ever hear a masked man called Lone Ranger, Bill? The, the Lone Ranger? <laughs> not right. You mean, you mean you're the Lone Ranger? That's right. Thunderation, talk about luck. I, I never figured I'd meet you. We'll wait here for you, Tonto. Ah, uh, he see you by and by. He, he's got his people out. Get him up, count. In town, the murderer, the Lone Ranger, and Tonto sought. Drew rain near Tug Walker's rundown shack. Oh, 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 oh. As he strode toward the ramshackle three-room building, the door opened. There's you, 
Rock? Yeah. Hey, where you been? Uh, traveling through the hills with a posse looking for Bill Linden. You find him? Uh, we'll start out again in the morning to look for him. You know, I wouldn't mind going to all this trouble to frame him if we could spend the cash we stole from the express elders. With Bill in prison for stealing it, we can clear out of town and spend it somewhere else. Maybe south of the border. Yeah. <laughs> Who's that? The rider drew rain outside. If he's coming here, I better get out of sight. Why? What are you so edgy about? Never mind the questions. I'll step into the lean to till I find out who it is. And I'll have my gun handy in case it means trouble. We'll continue our Lone Ranger adventure in just a moment. Sheriff Sam is a boy of ten. He busts right in the robber's den and gets his man because he knows he's got gold power from Cheerios. Yes, he's got gold power. There he goes. He's stealing his Cheerios. 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 That's Cheerios, the cereal shaped like little letter O's. And those O's stand for oats, the good grain Cheerios is made from. Every delicious spoonful of Cheerios and milk is real muscle-building food. Each spoonful contains vitamins, minerals, and proteins your body needs. Yes, those good things in a Cheerios breakfast do good things for your body. Help you have healthy nerves, good red blood, strong bones and muscles. You can see that Cheerios is made to give you real go power. So make sure you have a Cheerios breakfast every day. Then you'll hear people say... He's stealing his Cheerios. Now to continue. As Tonto drew rein and dismounted outside Tug Walker's shack... The killer named Rock Rowley concealed himself in the small lean-to. When the Indian rapped on the door, Tug called... Just a minute. With a look over his shoulder to make sure Rock was out of sight, Tug Walker went to the door. Uh, Yeah, what... Hey, are you Tug Walker? Uh, Yeah, that's right. I'm downright surprised to see a redskin in Uh, town. Me have message for you. What kind of message? A message from a friend named Bill Linden. Oh, uh, well, uh, step inside, ain't you? Uh-huh. Uh, who are you? How do you know Bill? I'll meet Tonto and meet Bill today. Him in plenty trouble. Uh, yeah, yeah, I reckon he is, poor critter. I, uh, I'd i like to know where to find him so I can help him. Well, him have help now. But him want you to take note to Mother. Yeah, here, yeah, no. What'd it say? It for mother. You take it to her? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure thing, Tom. Oh, me have handbill for deputy sheriff, too. Handbill? That's right. Hey, this describes Rock Rowley. Ah, him wanted for robbery, murder, California. Well, I, I didn't know that. Deputy sheriff not know it, either. Well, I, I, I'm mighty glad you brought the handbill here, Tano. I'll see the deputy otter gets it. Not good. Well, me go now. Uh, th- hold on. Uh-huh. Uh, you, uh, you know where Bill's hiding? Uh, you not worry about him. Him with friends. Oh. Adios, Tom. Uh, so long and, and thanks. Uh, me tell Bill you take message to Mother. Uh, I'll take care of it right away. Come on, come on. Where's he going? Oh, oh. Uh, he's gone. I should have gone to cut in. I didn't figure he'd follow me this far. So you know him? I recognized him as soon as he opened his mouth. He's trailed me for a long time. This is a perfect description of you. Let's see that hand, Bill. When I met you at the cafe, you told me you were a card shop, a gambler on the lookout for easy money. I never figured my record would catch up with me. Why didn't you tell me the law was looking for you? If I'd known you were worried... What are you hollering about? The law's never had a thing on me. I've been in the clear. You've been lucky. I've been smart. Too smart to get my name on hand, Bill. Yeah, I'll take care of this hand, Bill. Uh, this coin, it won't save you hide. Getting the redskin who brought it here, Will. What's he got against you? Why is he so doggone anxious to see the law finds out about you? He and his masked pal have been after me for a long time. 
I thought I lost him when I left California. Mass pal? Is he on the dodge, too? I wish he were. He's the Lone Ranger. <laughs> yeah. We're lucky the Redskin brought the handbill here. Lucky? If Bill Linden's with the Lone Ranger, if he's told him how he was framed, what... Framing him was your the idea. The man will find out the truth. I'm getting rid of the cash we stole pronto. I'll burn it because I can't be linked That's to hold up. That's your Huh? Half that money's mine. Well, take your share and get out I'll of here. Take it easy, Tuggy. Your nerves have turned the fiddle string. With the Lone Ranger around here, I'm t- taking any cash. Instead of getting rid of the cash, why not be smart? But what do you mean? Get rid of the mass man, Tonto, and Bill Linden. You're talking local. Let's see the note Tonto gave you. Uh, here. Uh-huh. What'd you say? I'm with friends, Mom. Don't worry. <laughs> Unless I miss my guess, he's in camp with the Lone Ranger. Now all we've got to do is to follow Tonto. Back to camp? That's the idea. We'll gun all three of them. We'll never get away with the truck. Why not? Bill's wanted for robbery. I know, but killing we'll him... we claim we found him in camp with his crooked pals. When we tried to capture him, they started a gunfight. We fired in self-defense. Yeah. There's a full moon to make it easy to follow Tonto's trail. He, he might cover his tracks. Why should he? He's not expecting to be followed. Yeah, maybe it'll work. He'll never have a better chance to get that mask, man. I reckon not. I uh, left my horse outside. I saddle yours, and we'll start after the Indians. I don't want to risk trading lead with a lone ranger in Tonto. If things work out as I planned, they won't have a chance to shoot now, come on. I'll help you sell your home. As Rock Rowley anticipated, Tonto's trail was not difficult to follow. Assuming that Tug Walker could be trusted, the Indian had not tried to hide his tracks. When he reached camp, Bill Linden was sleeping soundly. Oh, scout. Oh, fella. Easy, scout. Easy, fella. Uh, all right, good. It's good him get rest, he must have Yes, he needs it. Now, me give note and hand bill to Tug Walker. Then leave town. Good. Uh, on way back, he must not be. Uh, me try to think of way to clear Bill. Yes, I've been thinking about the same thing, Tonto. Uh, maybe when Sheriff come back to town, we ask him to say he'll find with The fire burned low while the masked man and Tonto considered various ways to find the man who had committed the robbery. As he picked up the canteens, the Lone Ranger said, If the sheriff searches Rock's living quarters, he may find the stolen money. You think Rock pulled robbery? Yes. Uh, maybe that right? Stay with Bill while I fill our canteens, will you, Toto? Uh, where you fill it? Uh, while you were gone, I found a spring about 300 yards from here. I'll be back in a few minutes. As the masked man disappeared in the trees and brush surrounding the campsite, Bill Linden wakened. Tonto knelt at his side. How you feel, Bill? Oh, Tonto. Uh, you sleep sound, huh? Oh, yeah. I didn't even hear you come back to camp. Uh, Let me, me help you sit up. Yeah, uh, yeah thanks. Uh, hey, look out. Uh, you're you're both covered. Tug. Hey, surprised to see me, Bill. Well, what's the idea of the gun? Don't try to reach for yours, Tonto. Rock Rowley, huh? Yeah, that's right. Tug, what are you doing with this crook? We'll ask the questions, Bill. Where's the masked man? I don't know. He, he was gone when I wake You're lying. Him tell truth. What are you doing here? How'd you find me? We followed the Redskins trail from town. Rock's a killer, Tug. The law wants him for murder and robbery. I know all about him, thanks to your engine, pal. Where's the masked man? Right here, Rock. Hey, what? You... Covering you with two guns. Are you... As Tug and Rock whirl to face the masked man, Tonto snatched the gun from his holster. Screened by brush, the Lone Ranger fired. Rock fell with a bullet in the shoulder. Another bullet smashed Tug's gun. He got him covered now. Either of you try a fast move. No, no, don't shoot me. My hands are up. What about you, Rock? I know I'm hurt by my shoulder. You take care of your wound after your hands are tied. I'll keep them covered, Toto. Uh, me tie their hands. Uh, I don't savvy this. Uh, Tug Walker know this fellow crook. Me give him ham. Now, wait a minute, Injun. For what? Well, let me explain. Before you try it, I'll tell you a few facts. You knew Rock's a killer. 
Was for robbery and murder. Oh, yes, but you I... You didn't turn him over to the law. Well, I, I... That makes you as guilty as he is. Oh, no, no. Rock may hang. As for you, I... I... didn't know he was a killer. He told me he was a gambler. He give you handbills. I would have turned him in. I plan to do it tomorrow. Why, you yellow rat. Planning to turn me in, will you? You no good, Tin Horn. I'm no killer. You're a thief. You can't prove that. The stolen money's proof enough. It's hidden under the bunk in his shack, no. mister. Oh, I told you, double crosses. You're the one to frame me. No, no. Surely I... framed you. He planned to spend that cash south of the border while you rotted in prison for stealing it. Why, you take it easy. Take it easy, Bill. He'll pay for his crime. Well, he ain't finished time and clean the valley. Good. As soon as you bandage Rock's wound, we'll take them to town. <laughs> Bill Linden, Toto, and the Lone Ranger were on the trail to town with their prisoners when a hard-riding horseman overtook them. In the moonlight, the masked man recognized Sheriff Hank Yerba. Oh, 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 great takes the lie. Mister, I haven't seen you since I left Union Pacific. We couldn't have met at a better time, Sheriff. We have two prisoners for you. I picked up a handbill about Rock Raleigh while I was in Mule Jaw. Started back to town immediately to arrest the skunk. You can arrest Tug Walker while you're at it, Sheriff. What? He and Rock worked together on the express robbery. Well, can you prove that, Bill? According to Rock, the stolen money's hidden under the bunk in Tug's shack. I'll look for it after the varmints are jailed. We may see you again, Sheriff. Oh, uh, aren't you coming to town with us? You'll not need our help from now on. I'll not need help, but I'd sure like a chance to visit a while. That may be time for a visit the next time we meet. I sure hope so. Well... Goodbye, Bill, and good luck. Goodbye, and thanks for everything, mister. You're more than welcome. Adios, Sheriff. So long, and thanks. Come on, Bill. Come on, Scout. I hope someday I can pay those two back for what they did for me. Bill, you're not the first one to say that about Tonto and the Lone Ranger. Special recording Mondays through Fridays at this same time.